If your GPI or GPRO pump is not running properly, there are many steps you can take to troubleshoot and fix your pump in the field. First, identify your model of GPI pump by checking your pump's nameplate, typically located on the back of the motor or the top of the pump housing. If your pump's motor has recently stopped running, Safe Stop Timer may have activated, protecting your pump's motor from overheating. Turn the switch off and allow the pump to cool down for 30 minutes. Then turn the switch back on to resume normal operation. You should also ensure your pump is receiving electrical power by checking for blown fuses or trip circuit breakers. Power wires should be carefully inspected for shorts or breaks and verified to have a good connection to your battery. If you have an AC fuel pump, have a licensed electrician inspect power wiring. If your pump's motor still doesn't turn on, you may have a damaged or jammed rotor, gear, or vane. Turn the pump off and disconnect the pump from power. Remove the pump cover plate and inspect for any obstructions. Replacement kits for worn or damaged gears and vanes can be purchased from our website that can be reached by scanning the QR code on the side of your pump. If your pump's motor is running but is not dispensing fuel or is dispensing fuel at a lower than normal rate, ensure your pump is equipped with a factory-supplied GPI nozzle and verify that all pump fittings and connections are properly tightened and free of blockages. Next, check that the pump's power wires are securely connected to a good power source with correct polarity. If you have an AC fuel pump, have a licensed electrician inspect power wiring. Ensure the suction pipe is securely fitted to your pump, is free of clogs and damage, and is extended to reach the bottom of your fuel tank. Verify your fuel tank is adequately filled. Inspect your pump's hose, strainer, bypass poppet, and bypass o-ring for clogs, binding, leaks, or damage. If your pump's motor still doesn't run, you may have a damaged or jammed rotor, gear, or vane. Turn the pump off and disconnect the pump from power. Remove the pump cover plate and inspect for any obstructions. Replacement kits for worn or damaged gears and vanes can be purchased from our website that can be reached by scanning the QR code on the side of your pump. If your pump motor stalls when operating in bypass mode, Safe Stop Timer may have activated, protecting your pump's motor from overheating. Turn the switch off and allow the pump to cool down for 30 minutes. Then turn the switch back on to resume normal operation. If your motor still stalls, you should also check that the motor's wiring is properly connected to a good power source. If you have an AC fuel pump, have a licensed electrician inspect power wiring. You should also inspect the pump's bypass poppet, rotor, vanes, or gears for binding, wear, or damage. Replacement kits for worn or damaged parts can be purchased from our website that can be reached by scanning the QR code on the side of your pump. If the switch on your pump does not turn on the motor, Safe Stop Timer may have activated, protecting your pump's motor from overheating. Turn the switch off and allow the pump to cool down for 30 minutes, then turn the switch back on to resume normal operation. You should also ensure your pump is receiving electrical power by checking for blown fuses or trip circuit breakers. Power wires should be carefully inspected for shorts or breaks and verified to have a good connection to your battery. If you have an AC fuel pump, have a licensed electrician inspect power wiring. If the switch still does not activate the motor, the switch or motor may need to be replaced. Replacement parts can be purchased from our website that can be reached by scanning the QR code on the side of your pump.
If your pump's motor is overheating, ensure you are not running your pump's motor in bypass for more than 10 minutes or exceeding your pump's duty cycle of 30 minutes. Turn the pump off and allow it to cool down for 30 minutes before resuming normal operation. You should also ensure your pump strainer and suction pipe are clear of debris and damage. Replacement kits for worn or damaged parts can be purchased from our website that can be reached by scanning the QR code on the side of your pump. If fuel is leaking from your pump, locate the leak and ensure all threaded joints and bolts are properly tightened. Inspect your hose, O-rings, and shaft seals for wear or damage, and ensure proper thread sealant is being used. Replacement kits for worn or damaged parts can be purchased from our website that can be reached by scanning the QR code on the side of your pump. If you need assistance, you can call our USA-based support team located in our factory Monday through Friday from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Central Standard Time for installation tips.